Hello and welcome to another great episode of Mkulima Fresh, the only agribusiness show in Africa that brings you inspiring stories about farmers and the great things that they are doing as far as agribusiness is concerned. My name is Faraji Kevin. So today we are in Kiambu County's Kanjuku village in Chaniel Ward. We want to give you a brief background check about Kiambu County's agribusiness story. Take a look at this. Kiambu County is among the largest counties in Kenya, occupying 2,500 square kilometers, with a total of population standing at 1.6 million. This is one of the five counties in Kenya that has more than 50% of its population living in urban areas. The main economic activity in Kiambu County include farming, food processing, manufacturing, especially in leather, mining, textile, motor vehicle assembling, as well as general trade. The sector that has a great potential in investing in is the agricultural sector. The sector is estimated to be employing over 100,000 people and generates over 1 billion Kenya shillings in export every year. Many of the food crops that feed Nairobi County come from Kiambu County. One, therefore, is prone to make a lot of money by selling food crops as well as fruits from Kiambu to Nairobi. It is not a must for one to own land in Kiambu in order to run agribusiness. There are tracts of land that are available for leasing over a period of time and they will always give good returns. Kiambu County is growing and will soon catch up with Nairobi County. This is a county worth investing in and agriculture is the way to go. Well, that was so much to learn about Kiambu County and agribusiness in Kiambu County. So moving on to our next segment, Mkulima, way to fresh Leo. We want to speak about growing of arrow roots, otherwise known as Nduma, in Kiambu County. Let's do this. Ngayume <laughs> This is Mkulima Fresh. This is a water crop. Arrow roots are very popular in most Kenyan parts, particularly those in marshy zones where water is never a limiting factor. Arrow root tubers are gaining a lot of popularity in Kenya, and the demand has risen over the last few years due to increased health attributes associated with the crop. The crop's leaves have been found to be very nutritionally rich in fiber, amino acids, minerals, iron, phosphorus, zinc, and a very good source of vitamin B, C, potassium, and manganese. Uh, Tuambie, uh, about your greenhouse and your farm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I came to learn about greenhouse mm -hmm. some years ago, about uh, 10 years ago. So I became uh, interested in this farming and uh, I decided when I get uh, enough ads I'll do it but then uh, mm -hmm. those days the prices of greenhouses were uh, exorbitant like how much uh, it, it, it was going to over 300,000 wow so I decided to do it locally mm -hmm. uh, I just bought uh, uh, this, uh, this canvas uh. with uh, cost me about eight to seven thousand. Okay. Then I got uh, these materials from uh, local sourcing, okay. and I made this uh, this thing locally. And I can assure you, it has paid dividends to me. Wow! Because the first season, I realized over two hundred and ninety thousand from uh, the uh, proceeds of tomatoes. So the first season you did tomatoes. Yeah, I did tomatoes. They, they did very well because they went for about 10 months. Okay. Uh, 
from the first picking to the last picking, it took me about 10 months. So there were, I cannot say that uh, the prices were low or higher because uh, I, I got the, uh, uh, our first harvest, we met the peak. Then it went down, it came up, went down, and then up. So I did uh, a good harvest, which actually paid every, every, every work that I did in this, this house, mm -hmm. and I was left with uh, some coins. So in this greenhouse, um, what kind of crops have you planted uh, so far? You have tomatoes? I have, I have planted first first tomatoes. Uh -huh. I planted uh, uh, cucumber, uh -huh. planted uh, uh, cascap, uh -huh. uh, blue, I mean, uh, uh, red and yellow. Uh -huh. Give me a lot of money. And from there, I went back to uh, uh, tomatoes. Then for, for, for tomatoes, I planted uh, Castle come again. Okay. Uh, this uh, this house uh, it's about uh, seven years old, wow. and now it's running out of uh, fashion. And I so I decided to try uh, this doma. What's oh, so this is in doma? This doma. Wow. Because if you look at uh, the roof, okay. the roof is leaking. And the supporters are so, so weak uh, to sustain uh, the repairs. So now you planted Nduma? Uh... Uh, uh, out of the poor loafing, uh -huh. I decided to uh, change my ideas of uh, horticultural crops. Uh -huh. So I arrived uh, on a decision to grow our roots in this uh, greenhouse. And actually, it has proved. Uh, very well, mm -hmm. because I, I used the, the organic fertilizer from the bio, from, from, from a gauss. Uh, I mixed uh, with uh, cow dung. Okay. And I understand, I've been told, because I've never done this job before, that it takes about six months to mature. Mm -hmm. But if you look at the, the plantation now, it will take less than six months because this is just one and a half months. Tell us about uh, the Nduma that you decided to plant uh, in your greenhouse now. How is it going? What, what kind of climate does Nduma require uh, when you're planting it? Uh, it requires a damp and a wet climate. Uh, but then uh, I could not do it uh, down the valley, so I decided to use whatever means which was uh, my, my touch. And that was this greenhouse, because I, I had to decide an option which would favor me better than any other. And uh, since now the roof is uh, actually falling off, it's leaking, I decided to try uh, our route, which now is doing very well. From, from what I have learned from uh, our route farmers, they have told me that uh, this has gone be even beyond the, the age of this plant. Wow. Because it is supposed to be to mature within six months. And this one is just one and a half months, and the, the size and whatever else is telling a lot of story. So are you going to be harvesting probably in, how, in the next how many months? Uh, I think in the next uh, three and a half months. Wow. I'll be harvesting the, this. And I'm, uh, I'm expecting something between 300 and 400,000 from this uh, small portion. How is the market for, for Nduma right now? Market is ever lady. It's ever lady because people have decided to move from uh, uh, whatever uh, they are consuming, prepared with the chemicals to organic. And uh, my biogas has stirred so me so much because from the cow dung that I collect from my, my cows, I have mixed with the uh, organic fertilizer, which, okay. is, which is actually made from the digester of the greenhouse or the biogas. Okay. So uh, hopefully, I think I will be doing better than 
the old farmers who have been practicing this for many years. Okay. Enlighten us. Um, what, what, what difference, uh, rather, how different is it when you're planting Duma and other crops like tomato, the ones that you had before, uh, in terms of maintenance, in terms of probably watering your plants, mm. what, 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 what are the changes uh, within Duma? I have been very comfortable with the Duma because with tomatoes, yeah, they, they require a lot of your presence, okay. a lot of chemicals, uh, and that, 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 that calls for an extra cost. So this, uh, this, is, this is actually uh, cost-free no. because you only plant and wait oh. until the maturity. But with the tomatoes, you must be there almost every day. Okay. And you must be spying for uh, the diseases and uh, the pests. So you have no risks of, uh, I mean, uh, infections, things like that, that you have to use pesticides every time? No, I have no, 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 any problem. Okay. Now it's only watering and you wait for the market. Okay. Yeah. What are some of the maintenance uh, do's and do nots mm. about uh, maintaining a greenhouse? After how long do you bring it down? Do you ever bring it down and then we put up a new one? And I mean, what are the do's and the don'ts of how well, the, the can, this kind of is supposed to, to last for five years. Okay. So this one is uh, uh, right now is out of uh, life, and uh, so I believe what, I, what I'm doing now, right now is better than actually erecting a new one. Because out of the sales I have here, I will be able to construct a better one and a more lasting kind of a greenhouse. Okay. How different has it been uh, using um, the bio the bio fertilizers or the bio system that you have mm. in your farm? How is different is it from using normal fertilizers, probably buying fertilizers? To me, what is the difference? To me, uh, is cost-free. Because what I'm, I'm getting from the uh, biogas could be going to the waste, but now I, I'm, I'm trying to utilize whatever is there uh, with minimum cost. Because I only employ a uh, few laborers to just pour uh, the biogas uh, fertilizer yes. to my farm. Other yes. than if, even employing uh, somebody on daily basis to be looking upon the crops that are, that are grown in the greenhouse. Oh. Yeah. So for how long have you been doing, um, have, been, have you been into agribusiness uh, as a farm? I've been there for the last uh, six years. Six years you started practicing mm. agribusiness. Yeah. What was the inspiration? Or is it because of you, you came of age, you decided, ah, now my, my life is just for me. What, is there something else that really inspired you? Uh, I've been brought up uh, by a peasant farmer. Uh -huh. And I've uh, been educated by whatever was you have been getting from the farming. So it has been within my bubble stream. Farming has been there, and we have been practicing uh, on, on a small scale. Okay. So, okay, so now on this show, this is Muklima Fresh. Mm. There are very many young men out there mm. who are who are kind of scared. Mm. Or maybe they are they think farming is for old men. Mm. Farming is for people who did not go to school. Mm. We want white collar jobs. We want to go to offices and sit and work. What would your what would be a word of advice uh, to them out there who are thinking should I try agri business or should I not? I would tell them to yeah. practice ag yeah. ag agro business. Yes. Agri business because there's money, there's hope in that business. Wow. But if you don't try, you never get anything. But if, when you go to it, you realize oh. what I have realized. Wow. Yeah, because I'm even better than when I was employed. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Remember, this is Mukulima Fresh. And this is the only show that gives you so much information about agri business. <music>